Kitchen Amigos from the middle of nowhere in far west Texas. We are taking a family expedition to the teeny tiny pueblitito, 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 townito, townito of Marfa. We have no idea what to expect. I feel like people in Texas know about this place, kind of some people, but we don't know anything about it and we wanted to take you guys along, but I've heard it's supposed to be Marfalous. <laughs> like a pretty cool town. Uh, there's a lot more here than I expected. We're gonna show you around here in just a minute, but first uh, we are starving. <laughs> All we've had the last few days of like are uh, lots, of, lots of s'mores and lots of tacos. But, so we found this little pizza foundation place. Uh, check it out. Check that, we're not doing pizza. We found some other little place. This is closed. Double check that, we are not going to this place, it's closed, but this guy that maybe seems French or something suggested we go to Mando's. A really cheap Tex-Mex place, and we asked if the food was good and he said, it's okay, so we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay, this is Mando's. Mando's is closed. Mando's, Sunday, closed to closed. The hours literally say closed to closed, look at that. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to eat <laughs> yet. <laughs> This town is interesting. It is really strange. Okay. It's like if they took a pueblitito uh -huh. and then like made it really trendy. It's like if they, which I guess has happened to some, like I feel like parts of Bacalod, which is a pretty small town. Yeah, kind of has But the difference is Marfa is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there's nothing like, I mean, there's the mountains around it, but like there's a lot of, like Fort it, Davis is a cool little town, but it's not. They made it very, very trendy. Anyways, it's uh. It's so interesting. Interesting. One of the things probably mis amigos mexicanos that are watching will notice already is the big, biggest difference between pueblitos in Mexico and pueblitos in Texas is uh. Yeah, look at the plaza. Well, the plaza. On a Sunday. Today's Sunday. Now, like this is a pretty trendy place on a Sunday, and there's no one. Plaza in any Pueblo of Mexico right now? I can't. Balloons, kids, tacos, screens, <laughs> children. <laughs> <laughs> So the strange thing about this is that this is a holiday weekend here in the U.S. Marfa is like a really trendy town, like we've said, uh, and but there's no people, and a lot of the shops are closed. So it's kind of like Marfa knew something that we didn't, or like the state park we were at was packed, 
but no one's here in this town and a lot of the places are closed and even some of the restaurants that say they're open only on Friday Saturday and Sunday are closed today so I guess maybe they're it's just President's Day it's not like that's the biggest holiday so I don't know why it's uh, anyways there's not many people but what I was gonna say is in a lot of ways as there's some definitely some trendy stuff kind of going on here but I mean this is pretty much if you were to drive through small towns in Texas this is really a lot just the style of the architecture of the buildings the signs over here that says palace behind me you're gonna see a lot of that there's a lot of that like in Denton the courthouses this is this is small town Texas to a T with a little bit of Instagram <laughs> uh, hipsterish thrown in for you What do you think of Marfa? It's not as marvelous as I thought. <laughs> Pretty sure uh, when we were driving earlier, we passed that guy biking, cycling in, into a headwind. Anyways, Marfa, it's not as marvelous as you thought. It's different. It's very, very trendy and a little fancy. I found salt and pepper shakers that I really wanted. They were $27. <laughs> That's 20, a lot of pesos. That's like 500 pesos, no? Or yeah, more. Or more. That's like, yeah, closer to 600 pesos. Um, your dad came here, and your parents actually suggested we come here 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, my parents I'm curious, it today. <laughs> suegro, suegra, if you're watching this, I wonder what yeah. you think. If it looks any different, it feels any different. I don't know. I know you're not here, but just in the video. Was it I'm trendy sure. 40 years ago? Probably not. <laughs> right? Does it matter? Yeah. I know. Is the thing like it, well, is there anything you'd like to say, like, this is a pueblitito in Texas. Uh-huh. How would you like? It, it is cool. I would say it's like the opposite of humble, which is why I tend to uh, like I can see that. pueblitos because I feel like there's just a sense of humbleness or. And honestly, if you're most like Texas. Untouched Tex magic. Most Texas towns are, are like very that. humble, very like. Yeah. I don't know, everybody's, well, everybody here is really nice, but similar Everyone to Mexico, nice. yeah. honestly, everybody says good afternoon, good morning, how you doing, how you mom and them, how y'all doing, how y'all doing, uh, but honestly, there's not enough people here in Marfa right now for that to happen, but, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Make pizza great again. Well played, well played. Jarek went with Jarritos. Muy Mexicano. <laughs> yeah. Unusual <laughs> face. Everybody put their right leg up on the wall. And then do you like to pass this for hashtag Mark? Okay. <laughs> Are we going to fit in this? Yeah, get really close. Let me see if it Ready? works. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Do you hear it? One more. I heard it. One more. <laughs> One more. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I forgot to look a couple times. Yeah. You forgot to look? Or you yeah. just like, I was looking at my watch. <laughs> Take the picture. 